Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Workforce Wednesday in the Kentucky Chamber Workforce Center's Bus to Business Virtual Program Series. My name is Harper Smith, and I'm the Senior Manager of the Kentucky Chamber Workforce Center, and I help direct the Bus to Business program. I want to thank our sponsors, Kentucky SHRM and AT&T, for their investment in this program and helping to bring classrooms to careers. I also want to thank the team at ULAMI for this virtual event platform. All of our resources and videos are housed <coughs> excuse me, on our website, kychamber.com slash bus to business. And this session is being recorded and will be um, housed on our YouTube and Facebook streams as well and available to rewatch. I know a lot of schools are on spring break this week, so um, I, I bet a lot of people will be watching this next week. Um, we're really excited to hear from Catalan Pharma Solutions today from Winchester. We will be hearing from Donna, Jeff, Rebecca, and Serenity. Um, our talent pipeline South uh, Talent Pipeline Project Manager Sarah Tracy in, from the Southeast region will be watching the chat and will lead a Q&A session at the end of the session. So I will now kick it over to the team at Catalan. Hey guys. Hi. Hi. Uh, hi. Hi everyone. My name is Donna Carter. I am the Human Resource Director here at Catalan Pharma Solutions in Winchester, Kentucky. And we want to welcome you to our virtual site tour and event. And I'm going to go ahead and um, move forward with, first we're going to go through some introductions and then we'll have some site statistics and description. We'll do a video tour and then we'll open it up for you guys to ask any questions and answers. Today we have representatives from our quality control department, which is Serenity. She'll go through her introduction. Operations, Jeff. Environmental Health and Safety is Rebecca, and I'm representing Human Resources. So we hope this will be a fun ride for you guys. So first, I just want to share with you a little bit about the Winchester site. Winchester is Catalan's global flagship for complex solid oral dose medication. And what that means um, is that we manufacture oral dose medications. One medication you may be familiar with is Nexium. We manufacture over 98% of the world's Nexium right here in Winchester, Kentucky. So our site population, we have over 650 employees. We're actually at 676 right now, and we're slated to continue growing. Our average tenure, people stay here 6.1 years. And we have 104 employees that have been here for 15 plus years, which goes to show you that it's a great place to work. And we still have four original employees here who started over 30 years ago. We're located in the Winchester Industrial Park. And there you see a slight population of a graph of the population distribution between all of our different departments. This is a, a little picture of our Winchester site. Later on, you'll see an actual tour. We have 180,000 square feet on 32 acres. We are GMP manufacturing, which some of these experts may get into later. We have quality assurance, QC, quality control, and microbiology labs. We have warehouse, and we are also planning for future development. So at this point, we're going to start our virtual tour and share with you a little more about um, what the site actually looks like, and you'll get to see some of our processes. So Harper, I'll turn it over to you. Thanks, Donna. I'm going to share the video now. Okay. One second. <clears throat> Sorry, one second. Welcome to the Bluegrass State. The Commonwealth of Kentucky is known for unforgettable views, fast horses, basketball royalty, and millions of bourbon barrels. However, Kentucky is also home to Cattle at Winchester. Nestled in Clark County, Kentucky, Cattle at Winchester is located just off I-64 in Central Kentucky. Winchester is within a day's drive of 65% of the U.S. population. 
which made it the ideal location for Catalan to set up a state-of-the-art, large-scale pharmaceutical manufacturing facility. Catalan Pharma Solutions opened their Winchester, Kentucky facility in 1992 and is home to Catalan's flagship U.S. manufacturing location for large-scale, complex controlled release oral dose forms with fully integrated analytical and developmental services. Catalan's patient first values and a passion for the growth and development of their employees has been integral in fostering a culture of integrity, customer dedication, innovation, and excellence over the course of the last 28 plus years in the Winchester community. Prior to beginning our site tour of Catalan Winchester, a few welcoming remarks from Catalan Winchester's general manager. Hi, I'm Rick Tucker, site GM for Catalan Winchester. On behalf of our 600 plus Winchester associates, welcome to Catalan Winchester. We are pleased to offer you this glimpse of our state of the art facility. This short video will introduce you to the capabilities we have to offer and our unmatched expertise in the development, optimization, and commercialization of large scale control release pharmaceutical products. Of course, the key to our success is our relationship with our customers and our objective is to create a partnership for us to completely meet your needs and provide solutions when you face challenges or complex situations. The Winchester Associates create a professional team that has the experience and the desire to provide exceptional service and products of exceptional quality. Our leadership team consists of members that are experts in our modified release technologies and offerings. We have nearly a 30 year history here in Winchester and we have a successful track record for bringing new products to market that provide better treatments that are reliably supplied. At Catalan, we share a common goal, and that is to put patients first and help people around the world live better and healthier lives. Our focus is always patient first, and that is why it's part of the equation in every decision we make at Catalan. We look forward to partnering with you to reliably supply your next drug delivery solution from development all the way through to commercialization. Your success is our priority. Before beginning our tour of the GMP manufacturing floor, it is important that we take the proper safety precautions by paying a visit to our new and improved GMP gowning area. The first step in ensuring protection of our employees, visitors, and the products we reliably supply at Catalan is to don the required gowning. Now that we have properly sanitized and put on the required gowning, let's begin our tour. Area 1 of Catalan Winchester has offered solutions for our clients since the opening of our facility in 1992. While Catalan Pharma Solutions offers expertise in early phase product development and formulation within its vast network, the Catalan Winchester site's expertise is geared towards solid oral dosage for phase 3 clinical supply, scale up and commercialization with batch sizes ranging from 10 kilograms to 1500 kilograms. Catalan Winchester possesses unmatched expertise in fluid bed processing, and Catalan Winchester has purposely built in flexibility into all our fluid bed suites. For example, what we are looking at here is our smallest fluid bed, our GPCG15. This particular machine is capable of top spray granulation, Worcester coating, and tangential spray processing for batch sizes ranging from 10 to 30 kilograms. We carry this theme of flexibility of both batch size and processing type on even our largest fluid beds. All fluid beds at Catalan Winchester are manufactured by GLAT Air Techniques. Having all GLAT fluid beds ensures a more seamless and predictable scale-up process, as well as gives us the ability to cross-qualify products on multiple assets. Having our products qualified on multiple assets provides greater scheduling flexibility as well as allows us to deliver increased customer demand on short notice. Catalan Winchester sets itself apart by offering the capabilities to manage products that require organic solvent processing. Here you see one of our multiple high shear vertical granulators Catalan Winchester has to offer, our VG200 adjacent to Lab 1. Catalan Winchester's vertical granulators supports batch sizes from 5 kilograms to 450 kilograms. Catalan Winchester offers a VG50, VG200, or VG1500. 
Catalan Winchester also offers full extrusion and spheronization capabilities, which allows for optimal control of bead size offerings for particle sizing. As we continue our tour, we see Catalan Winchester's SOP workstations. These SOP workstations allow our pharmaceutical technicians to access standard operating procedures and other GMP documentation required to manufacture the safe and efficacious doses we make each and every day. Here you can also see an example of some of the visual management tools found throughout Catalan Winchester. These visual management tools help to facilitate continuous improvements of our processes. These stations provide the opportunity for manufacturing leadership to engage our pharmaceutical technicians in our continuous process. From development through ongoing commercialization, Catalan Winchester continually focuses on safety, quality, delivery, cost, and ultimately putting the patient first. Just down the corridor in Area 1 from our SOP and Continuous Improvement Stations is one of Catalan Winchester's multiple encapsulation suites. Catalan Winchester offers encapsulation capabilities to support both powder and multi-pellet fills from size 000 down to a size 5 mini capsule. Here you can see one of our MG Planetas, which is a continuous motion capsule filling machine that automates material handling allows for up to four release profiles for finished product dose, and can handle up to 100,000 doses per hour. Catalan Winchester can support single to quad pellet fill, both powder and pellet fills, 75,000 to 200,000 doses per hour, and all of our encapsulation suites are equipped with inspection, weight checking, and metal check systems. The addition of Area 2 in 1997 provided Catalan Winchester not only with an extension of its single-level GMP manufacturing area, but also allowed for an additional level for GMP manufacturing to occur. We will start our tour of this space with our pre-way suites. Our pre-way suites allow for more efficient batch processing versus having to weigh each of the materials in the manufacturing suite. Catalan Winchester offers a wide assortment of blending solutions for our customers with vertical blending, bend blending, and can support blend sizes ranging from 2 quarts up to 1,500 kilograms. Catalan Winchester offers multiple options of tablet compression machines, and here you see one of our Manistee 700s. This machine supports both 64-station B-tooling and 49-station D-tooling can support single, bilayer, and mini tablets, has a speed output of up to 400,000 tablets per hour, can support tablet scoring and embossing. Each tablet compression suite is equipped with the dusting, metal check, SOTAX, and tablet friability equipment systems, and offers low RH capabilities. Here you can see one of Catalan Winchester's multiple tablet coders on site, which is our dual 48-inch pan coder. Catalan Winchester offers some of the industry's leading experts in tablet coding. Our tablet coding capabilities consist of multiple-sized equipment from 24-inch, 30-inch, 48-inch, and 60-inch tablet coding equipment on site, batch sizes from 10 kilograms to 325 kilograms per pan load, Solutions for functional and non-functional tablet coating and solvent processing if required. Area 2 also offers additional fluid bed, encapsulation, tablet coating, blending, vertical granulation, and capsule banding solutions. Catalan Winchester specifically engineered the capsule banding technology to support down to a size 5 mini capsule in a collaboration between the Catalan engineering team and the equipment manufacturer. This is just one of the many examples of how Catalan Winchester offers innovative solutions to their customers, even if it means doing something that has never been done before. Area 3, Catalan Winchester's most recent addition, was completed in 2014 and is where several of our newest capabilities reside. Catalan Winchester's Stick Pack capability is another FlexDose solution offered in the Catalan network and offers improved product stability a versatile packaging solution, support for pellet, powder, and mini tab fills. Catalan Winchester's roller compaction technology is beneficial for moisture-sensitive APIs, results in a higher quality granule, 
highly scalable and allows for flexible processing, enhances product stability. Catalog Winchester's tablet printing provides a solution for tablet products that require ink imprinting for product branding as compared to embossing. This machine can accommodate speeds of up to 400,000 tablets per hour. Catalog Winchester is proud to present our latest solution for our clients. Our fully automated high-speed primary bottling packaging line, which supports fills of tablets or capsules, round, square, or oblong bottles from 30cc to 750cc in size. Caps, both screw-on cap CRC or non-CRC, 25 millimeters to 70 millimeters. Cotton, rayon, or polyester fills. Sachet or canister desiccant for one, two, or three gram desiccants. Up to 120 bottles per minute. Our secondary packaging provides solutions for labeling, full serialization and aggregation, bundling, and cartoning. Area 3 also offers additional fluid bed, high-speed encapsulation, blending, and laser drilling capabilities. Aside from Cattle and Winchester's first-class manufacturing services and solutions, Cattle at Winchester also provides full-service microbiology and analytical laboratories for the products we make. Our microlab supports environmental monitoring testing, finished good release testing, material and API release testing. Our analytical lab provides solutions for the products we support for material release testing, API release testing, in-process and finished good release testing, method development, method verification, method transfers and cleaning verification. Catalan Winchester's warehouse provides a temperature-controlled environment and integrated inventory management through our JDE 9.1 inventory management system and offers cold storage. Catalan Winchester is capable of supporting Schedule 1 through 4 controlled substances. On behalf of Catalan Pharma Solutions, thank you for joining us for this tour of our Winchester, Kentucky solid oral dose facility. We look forward to partnering with you on your next drug delivery solution. Thank you, Harper. So at this time, um, at this time, we'll go around because I forgot to let everybody introduce themselves and we'll start with Serenity and you could just share about yourself and, and what it's like to work here at Catalan. So, hi, my name is Serenity Hetzel. Um, I worked at Catalan for about five and a half years. I have worked in the quality control department the whole time. However, I've held a couple of different positions. I used to work inside of the lab as an analyst, and I now work in the office, working more with paperwork and behind the scenes information for raw materials that are incoming to our site. Um, I like working at Catalan mostly because there are so many different opportunities and opportunities for growth once you're here. Uh, Catalan has a lot of different STEM opportunities that I would like to talk about. Prior to getting any kind of college degree, as long as you have some type of high school diploma, inside of the quality control lab, we have positions for porters. They're responsible for helping make sure that the lab is clean so they help out with um, cleaning glassware and trash and then also odds and ends, other things inside of the lab to try and help maintain an easy flow of equipment and things like that. We also have technician positions that a lot of college students that haven't gotten their degree yet but are going through classes, they like to come get a little bit of extra money and also get some experience in the workforce while they're getting their college degree. So we have lots of technician opportunities as well. For bachelor's degrees, we have obviously our QC department where I work, which is mostly commercial testing. Like the video described, we have raw material testing in process and finished product as well as stability, which is both mostly once a product is fully manufactured, we want to make sure that it's going to be able to have efficiency for a long period of time. So we 
put it under extreme conditions and then test it over a period of time to make sure that it's still working efficiently over, say, a couple of years. We also have our micro team that you saw on the video as well. And then additionally, there are engineering opportunities at Catalance so that's not inside of the quality control department, but we have several different types of engineers at Catalant as well as product development. Most of those people have a PhD in either chemistry, biology, chemical engineering, those kind of thing. Um, again, outside of QC, but they work a lot with new product development. And we also have inside of the lab a research and development team. We call them NPIX. It only means new product development. Uh, it's just a fancy name for research and development, but they will help out with writing methods for new materials, and that could be new finished products that we get from our clients or um, even new raw materials for our site. Lastly, within quality, we even have uh, product quality and quality assurance. Jeff might be able to talk a little bit more about them. Um, they work a lot more with production than what they do with QC, but they basically work kind of behind the scenes either with customers or with our production teams to make sure that we are safely and efficiently manufacturing all of our products here at Catalan. Thank you, Serenity. So Jeff? Yeah, um, so now you just hear me ramble for a little bit. Uh, I'm Jeff DeWitt. I'm one of the production managers here at Catalan Winchester. Uh, I've been here almost six years now, um, and I have, uh, kind of like Serenity, I've had a myriad of uh, different positions here. Um, but mine have not all been in the same group. So I actually came in, I started in regulatory compliance, which is in our quality department. Um, so came in fairly entry level position. I did have a college degree at the time. You can get into it without it, um, but you would have to have some work history, things like that uh, to get there. Um, so regulatory compliance, uh, my role specifically was to make sure we were adhering to the, uh, the controlled substances regulations that were discussed in the video. I think they mentioned on there that we can handle C1 through C4 controlled substances here. Um, so that was my first position, kind of an entry level position. Um, I've, I've worked my way up from there. Um, so after that, I went to the product development team that, that uh, she was talking about just a second ago. I was there as an associate project manager and then a project manager. Uh, so essentially what I did there on a day-to-day -day basis was deal with customers, um, help them bring their product to market, help to make their product commercially viable to where it could be produced at a large scale here in Cal Winchester and be something that really uh, really impacts the, the market going forward. Um, I found that very fulfilling because we were introducing things that weren't previously available to the market to make uh, to make new solutions for patient quality of life and, and new ways to help improve that. Um, I was there for, for a number of years and then moved to uh, the operations team. That's where I'm currently at. Um, so in operations, we've got a variety of positions. So we've got things for you know, folks coming straight out of high school. Um, we've got folks, you know, if they come out of college, things like just uh, the whole spectrum, you can you can find it there in our operations. Um, so probably the, the, the entry level position for us is just a production technician um, position. So that is someone, you saw on the video, the folks that were dressed in the blue scrubs there, had on the hairnets and whatnot, uh, the folks that were gowned appropriately. That's a, that's a production technician. So you come in, you're working in a suite with other folks, you're actually the ones producing the medicine. Um, and you know, you can take a little pride in the fact that the stuff that you're making on an everyday basis is used to improve someone's quality of life. So that's going to, you know, somebody's friend, somebody's son, somebody's daughter, somebody's mother, uh, to help make their lives better. So the, the production technician role is very impactful in a very direct capacity. Um, there's also, if you, if you come in that route, there's plenty of opportunity for advancement. Um, so from a technician, you can, there's levels of technicians. You can go to a room lead, you can go to functional lead, you go to supervisor, one of the other production managers here started as a technician uh, probably 28 years ago and has worked his way up. Um, actually, one of the directors here started as a production technician was one of the four original employees that was mentioned and has worked his way up to a director level. Um, so definitely some opportunities for advancement uh, in the in the operations department and throughout the facility, as Serenity mentioned. Um, she also mentioned that the, the PQ and QA folks, uh, so those are in our quality departments, so product quality, quality assurance. Uh, so quality assurance, um, they, are, they are also folks that, are, that you would see in the blue scrubs there. They're the ones that operations interact with on the floor. Uh, so they're the ones coming in, making sure that we're maintaining quality during the production process. So they're making sure 
our rooms are clean. They're there to consult if there are any decisions that need to be made. Um, they're there to run things by to make sure we're continuing to do things the right way. Um, we mentioned, you know, in the video that's GMP manufacturing. That just means good manufacturing practices are, are happening every single day with every single batch that we make. Um, obviously, we're making medicine here, so it needs to be safe. Uh, I think that's 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 rule number one. Um, and QA are the folks on, our, on the floor um, that really make sure we're adhering to all those guidelines and executing them as we should. Product quality is on the kind of the back side of things. Uh, so they're the folks that are involved in making sure the batches get released and are able to be shipped to the customer. They're putting together the results we get from QC, along with reviewing the batch records, making sure there's no issues there, um, and really compiling the whole process to make sure that we have a safe, efficacious drug that can be passed along to the customer. Um, most of those PQ and QA roles, I believe, require a uh, college degree. Um, we have had some folks work their way into them, come into manufacturing, show, a, show a, a expertise for the quality side of things, move over from there. Um, so I really think, no matter what you're interested in, if, if you're wanting to, for, you're looking for an opportunity where you can come in, um, really see what's out there, and, and move down a path and move up a path, uh, I think that was a great place to work, and I think I'm a, a pretty pretty decent example of that. Yep. Thanks, Jeff. Rebecca? Hello, I am Rebecca Stevenson. I am the Environmental Health Safety and Security Manager here at Catalent. Um, so I've been with Catalent now for just over six months. So relatively new to the company. However, you know, in that short period of time, I've seen exactly what Serenity and Jeff's talking about in terms of the amount of work and focus that goes into developing all of our employees, whether that's from you know, those entry level roles within um, kind of those farm techs all the way up. Um, that's one of the things that drew me to Catalan was understanding, I mean, Catalan is catalyst and talent put together. So trying to make sure that we prepare all of our employees to continue that upwards progression as they see fit and what they want to do and trying to do it as efficiently and quickly as we can. Um, we recognize that our employees are you know, the number one contributor and what makes us successful as a company and the support that we get here on site um, as a new employee, um, even to what they're speaking of, of um, long term employees, um, continually putting that focus into each other. Um, from an environmental safety side, um, that's another thing that's really um, awesome about the company is when you think about, um, you know, the, the medicine that we're manufacturing, it has to be safe for the person who's taking it, but there's also the key of making sure that our employees who are having to manufacture it have what they need to be safe and successful in doing so. And that's some of the roles that's within my department. Um, so we've got an EHS director, um, manager, we've got an EHS associate, as well as um, working towards getting some occupational health nurse resources on site, um, as well as some security focus. So working together with everybody across the company to make sure that um, from a health perspective that they're not being potentially exposed to something um, more so than what they need to be, um, as well as then making sure that um, we do ergonomic assessments, things like that. From an environmental side, um, one of the great things is the sustainability journey that we're on as a company. Um, one big item to talk about is probably the um, focus on waste reduction and then really our goal of becoming landfill free. Um, so when you think about the importance of working for a company that takes the environment serious, um, definitely something that you get here at Catalan. Um, and again, just kind of working through, you know, in the, the video, they talked about the different types of medications we may make, um, being some controlled substances, things like that, the security aspect of um, the folks that we hire as well as the protections that we have in place here are of utmost importance. So making sure that we have the right resources to do that. So there are um, internal roles as well as external that we partner with a lot of third uh, party companies to make sure that we can do what we need to um, as safely as secure and again um, focus on environmental as well. Thank you. So um, I do human resources which we're here to we provide the customer service to the site from the entry level new person coming in the door all the way up to the general manager and the directors. We're here to provide customer service for the things that you need, like your benefits, making sure you get paid on time, um, 
all those types of things, engagement activities, which we we very we're very much fond of, making sure that we have a diverse population. So we have diversity and inclusion initiatives here to make sure that everybody feels included. We have employee resource groups. We have a women's network. We have one that supports the military. We have Rise Up for millennials that, that are trying to bridge that age gap. And we're in the process of continuing to launch more employee resource groups. We have activities all the time for our employees. We just celebrated Employee Appreciation Day and gave a nice gift basket to all of our employees. So these are the type of things that Catalan as a corporation believes in, as, as well as social responsibility. So we believe in giving back to our community and we participate in a lot of social responsibility activities where we donate, we supported the flood relief recently and things like that. So overall, Catalan is really a great place to be. And I wanna thank everybody, but we wanna open this up to questions. If anybody has any questions for anyone, I believe Rebecca brought some, um, ma you see we're all wearing our masks um, due to COVID. We take that very seriously about keeping our employees safe and healthy. So we have um, protocols for COVID to make sure everyone's socially distancing and keeping safe, as well as promoting, you know, everyone getting vaccinated and things like that. So this is the type of things that the Cavalent as a company does because we care about our employees and we care about our patient first initiative, which Jeff and everyone has spoke about. So at this time, we'll open it up to any questions. Hi, everyone. Uh, Harper introduced me earlier, but I've been in the background. I'm Sarah Tracy with the Kentucky Chamber Workforce Center. I've had the pleasure of working with Catalent for quite a while now on our talent pipeline management initiative. So excited to be here. I have learned uh, a lot from the video this morning. I hadn't mm -hmm. seen that before. Um, and just from everything you guys are talking about. So thank you all so much for being here. Um, one of the questions we love, I don't see anything in particular in the chat, but one of the questions we love to ask, and we can just go around the room, is what was your first job ever? So for me, I'll kick it off. It was shoveling horse manure at an equine veterinary clinic. So pretty unique first job to lead me to where I am today, but uh, we love to see where that journey has gone. So, Okay, I'll start. My first job ever was a newspaper route, which I was not very successful at because there was a dog that kept chasing me. So I did not last there. But then the job that lasts was I did wash dishes at a restaurant called Sizzlers, which is no longer, no longer open anymore. But that was my first job ever. Rebecca? So mine was similar to Sarah um, in terms of shoveling horse manure. I was, uh, <laughs> A, but basically a farm hand, um, anything and everything um, a, a farm. So uh, I think from a somewhat related getting into the safety side, I think I learned a lot that uh, that summer when I had to go buy chainsaws because there were some trees that we had to remove. And then I had to uh, do some personal on the job training of teaching myself how to use yeah. that <laughs> safely as possible. So the importance of having safety glasses and uh, long pants and boots and things like that. So uh, a lot of fun, learned a lot, uh, hard work, um, but very enjoyable as well. So my first job, uh, I, moved, I was a furniture mover throughout high school and college. <laughs> um, I had a goal of graduating college without any student loan debt. Um, so that helped me to accomplish that. I unfortunately did not have as much uh, as much work experience or anything I could glean from, from it as uh, Rebecca did, but I did have the pleasure of having to help all of my friends move anytime they wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> um, my first job ever was actually uh, working in a pottery shop in oh, nice. college. I uh, used to help out with uh, helping other kids and even other adults learn how to paint their pottery and then um, glazing and firing those after hours. And so mine was more of a, the hobby side while I dedicated my brains, if you will, to my schoolwork during the week. So that was nice. my first job. Very nice. It's fun. It's fun to hear such a wide variety. Everyone's first job is, tends to be very different from where they are today. So we love yeah. that. Yeah. 
Um, okay, so another one we like to ask is, uh, what is something people may not know or expect about your job? And this can be, you know, just something unique or kind of a fun fact that you like to share that that people wouldn't expect. Do you want to start, Serena? Sure. Um, I think maybe the most unique thing about working at Catalan in general is the wide variety of jobs that there are. So, I mean, we have people, even within my own department, that have so many different types of degrees that have been able to use the information that they learned and adapt that to something completely different. I mean, we have people that have communication degrees that are working with our clients and scheduling production schedules and things like that. And so, <clears throat> I mean, I really feel like just about anything that you want to get into, Catalan has that to offer for you. I mean, we have maintenance departments, the warehouse department, uh, like I said, communications, HR, there's t tons of different assistant opportunities. And then, I mean, obviously, if you have higher and higher education degrees, there's even more opportunities for you there. So I think it's just the fact that you could basically study anything that you wanted to and you could get a job at Catalan. Yeah, so I think I think mine would just be the 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 sheer volume of, of things we make, um, and just the, the the differences between them. Um, so you know, we think it says the video says you know solid oral manufacturing like fifty times in that video. <laughs> you, take that, you take this little like tablet or capsule, and you're like, oh, that's got to be boring. You make the same thing every day. Mm -hmm. um, you really don't. Um, so with us being a contract manufacturer. We've got everything from the Pfizer, the Nexium that we've talked about um, earlier on to a combo device that we make in my area um, up on up on the second level of the building. Um, and even between the, uh, the the actual functional groups, so the fluid bits that we're talking about, you're not coming in and running the same process day after day after day. You might have a campaign of it and you do it for the, you know, five or six days, maybe a week, um, but then you're changing over, you're going to something else. Um, well, the principles are the same, it's different, it's nuanced, um, you don't get that, it's, it's not that same repetitive day-to-day mm -hmm. uh, -day that you would expect from a traditional manufacturing environment. Yeah, and I just want to kind of jump in a little bit, because that, that was the first thing that I thought of is in terms of, you know, working in manufacturing and seeing how things are made, but it's also being able to connect. What I didn't know when I came here was all the different types of medications that we do make mm -hmm. and the impact that they have on my mm -hmm. daily life whether that's me personally, whether it's my family, my friends, a lot of the stuff that we do here, it's life changing and life saving. And so when you think about having a job where you make that big of a difference day in, day out, it's pretty unique and pretty awesome compared to um, maybe some of the other jobs that we've had along our careers. Um, the other thing that's completely uh, unrelated to that is um, for me, one of the uh, most exciting pieces, at least in my job, is the work that I get to do with our green team. Um, which is environmental focus, but it's made up of so many different people. It's kind of like those employee resource groups, those ERGs that Donna was talking about. We try to bring so many people in, but it's the ability to take ideas that seem relatively small and seeing the impact that they can make um, for a greater tomorrow. And again, it's just more towards Catalan support that um, no idea is too small or too big. Um, you know, allowing us to, to kind of move forward with that. And I think that's very unique and very fulfilling as well. I think for me, um, the, the biggest thing that I, I have fun at is getting to meet so many different people. So mm -hmm. we are a global company and I do human resources. So throughout the day, I could interact from, with somebody from Argentina, somebody from Italy, somebody from the United States, somebody from China, I mean, and and we all, we, when we get on the phone, it's like some of those people I've never met in person, but I feel like I've known them forever. And to me, that's that's fun. And the other thing is the support that we receive from our leadership. And I'm not talking about just site leadership. I'm talking about global leadership as well. The access that we have to interact with people at such high levels, like our COO, our chief um, operational officer, or or the chief financial officer, or I mean, we we they have constant webinars to communicate with us. They come to visit. Um, you know, you can just reach out 
if you needed to and, um, you know, talk to them and that kind of thing. So the accessibility to just all levels of support that you have um, in your role and that, you know, they really do want the sites to succeed. And so I think for me, that's what I find. And sometimes you take that for granted and then you, you know, you get on a call with somebody else who works somewhere else or something and you think, oh, I just, I really have it good, you know, because we do really have a lot of support and um, it's a lot of camaraderie, even though you may never see that person. So for me, that's really neat and engaging for me. Um, it's just the, the network that I've developed since I've been here. Very nice. Um, I came up with my own question while you were talking, Donna. Um, being a global company like that and, you know, having facilities all over the world, what is the um, ability like, you know, say I start at Catalan Winchester, but I'm interested in, in going to Argentina and working for Catalan there. What is the ability like or what does that structure look like to, to, to make those leaps if someone so desires? Does somebody? Okay, I, Serena. I actually have two friends that just did something similar. Um, so I have a friend that just got a, uh, a supervisor position. She was um, like a, a senior level here, but not a supervisor or anything. So she got a supervisor position at our Bloomington, Indiana site. And then I have another friend that held a different senior position. And she went directly to a manager position in Baltimore. Um, and so it's actually easier in my opinion than what you think that it would be. Um, we have a, a hub that holds all of our open positions. And so on any given day, you can go into that hub and you can look at what opportunities that there are at every single Catalan site and you can filter it by site locations. You can filter it by departments. You can filter it by anything that you're looking for in order to find, okay, so I want an operations position, but I would like to maybe be in New England. So you can filter it by all of the different sites that we have in New England. And like, I mean, New England, like the United States section of New England. Um, and you can filter by all of those different locations so you can see what opportunities that there are there. So it's actually a lot easier than what you think it would be. And then Catalan assists in the transfer from one location to another. They help out with um, making sure that you have a realtor, making sure that um, you find a place to live, that if you need to stay in a hotel for a, a small amount of time, like two, three weeks while you're waiting for your house to close, they help out with that. Um, they, a lot of the time, depending on positions, give moving bonuses and help you out with making sure that you have a moving team that can come and help you move and all that kind of stuff. So it's actually pretty accessible to just about everybody. That's awesome. To, oh, go ahead. I was going to say, just to jump in on that real quick, um, one of the things that I'd um, probably be remiss if we didn't mention at some point, um, we do have a, a goal program, a yep. uh, yes. vocational leadership development program. Um, it's a two-year program, so you're in uh, – Three different locations for eight months each location that is for uh folks that are just graduating from college um, but that is a great way to gain exposure to at least three of our sites it's a great way to go gain exposure to our corporate team um things like that and it really uh for folks that are graduating and not maybe 100 percent what direction they want to take with their career um, it's a great opportunity for them to experience a variety of things in a variety of locations uh, really kind of narrowing that focus from there. Right. And and with the goal program, thanks, Jeff and Serenity, um, you're not only moving from location to location, but you have stints in various different departments of the organization as well. So one location, you might be working in operations, the other location, you might be working for supply chain, and that's your goal rotation. So um, at the end of that, you could really make a decision as to where you want to go based on your degree and that kind of thing. So I think I think from a global perspective, when I honestly tell people that your career at Catalan is up to you. You come in, we believe in internal movement. They believe in promoting internally. We believe in developing the people and making sure that we have succession plans and we develop the people to grow within the organization. So if you come in, you work hard, you learn, 
you take the opportunities that are given to you, your career is really up to you. Very nice. And that actually leads greatly into my last question, which would be what advice would you give someone thinking about this career pathway or, and, and it could be your respective uh, careers within the organization or just, you know, the pharmaceutical manufacturing industry in general. I think um, to someone who's trying to, or, or thinking about coming in, I think number one, it's a very stable industry. Throughout all of COVID, we never shut down. We've never laid off anyone. As a matter of fact, we've been hiring the whole time. So if you want a job that's going to provide you stability with a great income, great benefits, great opportunity, that's 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 Catalan. Um, the other thing I would say to someone is, if you want a job that is going to challenge you consistently, right? You're never going to be bored. Um, it is a fast-paced environment, but this group in Winchester, I can honestly say they work so well together. Yes, we have our ups and downs, but this site always pulls together to accomplish our goals. And I think that's the way it is at Catalan overall. But since we're speaking about Winchester, I can say we have a great group of employees here who take pride in their work. We believe in patient first meaning we, we take seriously that we're making medication and that what goes out of here could save someone's life or if we get it wrong, could do the opposite. So we really do take the patient first very seriously. And we also manage to have fun while doing it. So we have fun activities going on. Um, we have giveaways periodically throughout the time. Um, and when I talk to the employees here, most people say what they love about coming to work is the people that they work with. And so that says a lot about our site. So I would say to them, you know, if you're interested and you, you're not college bound, we have opportunities there in production and quality. There's tons of opportunities, even if you only have a high school degree. If you are a college brown, just like Serenity said, you could go from human resources to engineering to communications. I mean, there's tons of degrees that would be applicable here. So we just have tons of opportunity. Does anybody else have any input? I think it's exactly that. I think the other piece, the bit of advice is, you know, go ahead and put yourself out there. Um, don't be afraid of the unknown. Um, yeah. I know that that's, it's easy to be a little bit fearful um, starting out, but because of the, the type of environment that we have here um, and the resources that we have, the support um, for entry level all the way up, it's such a great place to get started um, and to build your career. And again, as Donna said, it's what you make of it, but mm -hmm. you first have to put yourself out there um, and just kind of be open to what it could be. So I want to piggyback on that because I fully support both of what you're saying. Um, whenever I first came to Catalant, I actually, um, I had graduated from college with a chemistry degree with the idea of going to grad school. And then whenever I started looking into grad school, I kind of changed my mind and didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life. So I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, I'll just go work in this lab for a year or two and I'll, I'll figure my life out and then I'll leave Catalant. You know, it'll just be like, my, my first professional job and I started working here and I really like working here. I enjoy the people in my department. I enjoy the relationships that I've